So today's announcement is going to increase access for students and reduce wait times for programs at BCIT. So I'm very happy to announce today that BCIT is going to receive $1.35 million to add new seats for in-demand in training programs and purchase training programs and equipment for these students. Now, that sounds uh, like a lot of money, and I'll tell you what it's, it's going to buy. It's going to buy 272 new in-demand seats, in-demand seats that are going to lead to jobs as early as September of this year. You've heard many a time we're expecting a million new jobs by 2022, and 80% and of those are going to require some level of post-secondary education. And we collectively, all of us, want British Columbians to be first in line for those jobs. So in the coming days and weeks, you're going to hear more about how we're specifically targeting funding for critical trade seats all across British Columbia. The reputation of this institution uh, is second to none across the province. Um, when you look at trades and technology training, uh, BCIT plays a very, very specific role in British Columbia. On behalf of my fellow BCIT students in electrical, also in welding, iron working, crane operating, pipe fitting and heavy duty equipment, I'd like to offer my gratitude to the provincial government for their support. <laughs> Thank you for making sure we never stop learning, educating, and pursuing our dreams to build a better British Columbia for everyone. Thank you.